Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Helen Mtemu and I discuss all things homesteading, homemaking and homeschooling. Come with me today as we share a very special day that's dear to our hearts. It is the Feast of the Trumpets, which is a Jewish, well, a predominantly Jewish festival feast and it's in the book of Leviticus. If you go to chapter 23 to 26, you will get some more information. So this is my first year actually celebrating this amazing feast and really it was a plan that I'd made with a close dear friend and then we didn't end up discussing it. And so I decided to just trust God and you know guide me on how to go about just creating this experience for our family and for really just teaching the word to the kids because we we've not covered Leviticus in our Bible study with the kids because I cover the I use the kids Bible and it goes from Exodus and it goes into um, so it will cover Moses it'll cover Joshua and then it'll almost go into David so um yeah so so because of that we have not covered leviticus or much to do with the feasts and so this allowed me you know to really just dig into the bible and see you know what this is in detail and to get a bit of understanding around why it is important for us to celebrate this feast of the trumpets as christians and to understand that whatever is in the bible has not been wiped away and that you know just because we understand that jesus has come and died for us um, it does not mean that you know we should not keep these festivals and the bible tells us that these are god's festivals and so they are dear to his heart and so it is amazing just to do something that is dear to God's heart, even if we don't fully get the depth of it as the Jewish people may do it. But the fact that it's in the Bible and it says, do this in memory of me, do this to remember God and to remember God's hand and his mercy over us, not just the Jewish people at that time, but God's hand over us as a people, you know, as a complete people, God's hand over us and God's walk with us. And so it's with that message that, you know, celebrating this day was important for us. We have celebrated Passover, um, but we've not done the other festivals in terms of a complete day. And so this was beautiful. The only work I really did was preparing this meal, um, which I had quite a detailed menu. But then when it came down to it, um, there were certain ingredients I didn't have. And then I didn't want to complicate the day. Or my menu and I really wanted the focus to be around the kids um, and us you know just learning about this feast and what it meant at that time for the Jewish people the Israelites and what it means for us today as Christians or what we'd call modern-day Christians um, so I kept my menu quite simple I made a lamb stew which was with carrots and then I made cinnamon donuts with coconuts and I made roast chicken pieces and beetroot and a salad yeah that's what we had and then in terms of the bread I made a round cheese loaf and paratha which is very similar to flat bread or roti it is basically your unleavened bread so that was what was on the menu it was a bit detailed when i started but as i finalized it i just really thought you know what let me not get so stressed about the food and let me focus more on the word the teaching and getting the kids to really just embrace the day so we normally have service at about five o'clock on a sunday so this week we had service at one o'clock so that we could have the teaching and then we could go into lunch and yeah it was just a beautiful experience um, i loved the fact that i just grabbed some you know old vintage things that were left from my husband's grandmother and we just you know decorated our table in the simple way based on what we had and what i'm starting to learn is that 
so much emphasis is put on so many unnecessary worldly things when the bible really calls us to gather to 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 talk about the word to share to teach and to celebrate christ and yet things get so complicated with the sort of the ritual of such such events you know it's not just this i'm talking about um, events in general when it comes to anything christian related it can become such a such a complicated affair when god is really just calling us to present ourselves present our hearts and to come together you know as a family as a unit you know and to to talk about him to share to learn to engage and to appreciate and remember and this is what this day brought out for me for my husband who i will say appreciated the teaching <laughs> um i did use the children's bible as an illustration for the kids because we've covered joshua and the walls of jericho and so i also brought that um, um story up in the discussion so that the kids could also remember so much more and yes this was our day i'm so grateful that i did it i thank god that even though you know i was so tired the night before um, i did wake up and i executed it and the kids appreciated it my husband appreciated the effort and really enjoyed the food and just kept on saying how it was such a blessing and i trust god would walk with me as i continue to dig into the bible and see what it says and then present it to my family around the table around a meal but keeping god as the center and so yes uh do like and subscribe to this channel as i share a lot more around homemaking homesteading and homeschooling bye bye